everyone. This is Ms. Heinemann, and this is going to be a really quick lesson to talk about how we punctuate compound sentences with a fanboys. So that means when we are putting two complete thoughts together, what punctuation do we use? So the rule is when connecting two complete thoughts, insert a comma before the fanboys. So we use a comma, we don't use a semicolon, we don't use a period. It's always going to be a comma before the fanboys. So let's look at this example. The box of cookies disappeared from J. Cole's bedroom sometime last night, but I didn't take it. So the first thing we have to ask ourselves is, do we have two complete thoughts? So in this first clause, we have the box of cookies disappeared, subject, verb. So we have a complete thought. The second clause says, I didn't take it. I didn't take subject verb, so that's also a complete thought. So we do have two independent clauses here that could stand on their own, and we're gonna join them together. So next we find our fanboy. There it is, it's one of the fanboys here, so for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And we're gonna use a comma to join these two things together, okay? So then the question is, can you use any other kind of punctuation mark to join two sentences together with a fanboy? And the answer in short is no, but let's look at two examples. So could we use a semicolon? No, we're not gonna use a semicolon because we only use semicolons to join two complete thoughts if we don't have a fanboy, okay? With a fanboy, you'd use a comma. Could we just use a period? In academic writing, the answer is no, uh, because you don't want to start a sentence in academic writing with a fanboy. Usually, you don't want to start a sentence. And on no writing, you're not going to want to start a sentence with a fanboy. So a period also doesn't work. So a quick review here. Um, Jayla hopes to walk her dog, comma, but Ciara doesn't think the weather is nice enough. So we have our fanboy, but, um, and we have a comma to join them together. We wouldn't use a period because we don't want to start the next sentence with but, and we wouldn't use a semicolon because semicolons only join two sentences without a fanboy. And we'll work on the semicolons uh, later on in the year. Remember, as always, that there are lessons on no writing. So when you go to do your practice right above it, there's a little circle that says lesson, um, and that will bring up these purple boxes that go over the rules with you. Um, so utilize those as well. Let's do a quick practice together. So this is the exact lesson that you'll be doing in a few minutes. So it says to fix any punctuation or capitalization errors below, then click submit answer. Franz Kafka wanted to go hang gliding this weekend, but the fierce winds made it too dangerous. So we have two complete sentences. Franz Kafka wanted, the winds made it. So we have two complete thoughts. We have our fanboy, but, but we know that we can't use a semicolon. So I'm gonna switch that to a comma. Level one complete, alrighty. Here's a, another one. Lord said the ice cream truck was giving out free samples, so we ran over to get some. We have a complete thought, Lord said. We have another complete thought, we ran over. We have our fanboy, the so. And we have a comma, but in this case, the comma is after, so we need to move it so that it's before. Level two complete. This will be the last one we do here. So Chance the Rapper washed his hands for five minutes, but he couldn't get all the peanut butter off. So we have Chance the Rapper washed, complete thought. He couldn't get up yet, another complete thought. We have our fanboy, the but, and here we have a period. So again, in academic writing, we'd never wanna start a sentence with a fanboy like this. So we're gonna change this to a comma, and we have to make sure that we lowercase the but. And there you go, there's your three levels. Um, so I hope that that makes sense to you guys. Remember that if you feel like you're getting stuck, don't just keep clicking the button, um, come see your teacher during office hours and we can walk through some together, okay? Thanks everyone.